Mm, look at those eyes, look at that face. Interesting sort of Victorian sideboards there. Um, that is actually the memorial to Sir Joseph Bazalgette. Engineer of the London main drainage system and of this embankment, died 1891, born 1819, lived to a ripe old age. Um, and this guy is not the most famous sort of like person in the world. He's not as famous if, as Isambard Kingdom Brunel or any of these other great sort of like uh, builders like Christopher Wren. But um, he's actually one of the most important individuals in the history of this city because he designed what they call the main drainage system is actually the sewers of much of London. Um, he built a, a sewage system of toilets, drains, main sewers and a, a waste treatment plant that was so successful that it was copied in virtually every other city in the world. And also, it's, some, of, some of his systems, some of his sewers are still in operation today. It's that, it's that, it was that good. Um, what, by doing that, this is, this is what's unbelievable. Um, the, the reason he did that was because London didn't have any sewers and basically people were shitting and pissing in their own homes and in buckets and pouring the buckets into the streets and they were pouring them into the river and the river became virtually an open sewer. There's some cartoons from, from the 19th century showing Father Thames all clogged up with muck and, and um, the, the river was actually, it was filthy. It was literally an open sewer full of shit. And he stunk to high heaven. Um, and people see what happens, people were drinking water around that river. You might as well just feed them poison. And they, of course they were dying of the of cholera and these diseases which affect many people in the third world today. Uh, and um, nothing was done, well nothing really was done about it. At one, at one point, 300 people died in one week of cholera. Um, it, was, it was a greater disaster than the Blitz even. Now, What's ironic is that um, nothing was done about it, absolutely nothing. When the Londoners, ordinary folk living in this city were dropping like flies, no one did a damn thing about it. The decision to bring Bazalgette in and get him to build a proper drainage system was only made when the overpaid, overfed ponces in that building over there got fed up with the smell. What triggered it off What's, what triggered it all off was that um, it was the year of the big stink. It was called that because not because because the stink had been going on for for, for generations. What well, what was called a big stink because they actually had a they put a new ventilation system into Parliament that drew air off the river and it filled the Houses of Commons and the House of Lords with this disgusting smell of rotting shit. And um, that's what persuaded them to do something about it. There was even talk of suspending Parliament and moving them all out to Henley or somewhere for, until it was fixed. That's how bad it was. And they didn't, even in the war, they didn't do that. And only then did they say that. Only then, when the Lords and the MPs had had enough of it, did they get for their own comfort, did they get Bazalgette in. And that's just typical of these politicians, isn't it? I have a lot more to say about that later. I'm hoping to do some more filming in this area. Hospital Port has pride and dignity. Stop the New World Order.